Hey guys, welcome back to Old World Home. My name is Hillary, if you're new here. I wanted to share today sort of the completed reveal of our bathroom mini makeover. I shared a couple of updates last month and I wanted to kind of show you the whole space all put together. We wound up putting crown molding in this bathroom kind of unexpectedly. Friends of ours kind of gifted it to us. They weren't using it and we were able to use that crown molding to really spruce up our main bathroom bathroom in our home. So this is the room that all of us use right now. We are currently renovating a bathroom in the basement, but as of now, this is what our family uses all together and just making it a little bit more special, a little bit more um, pretty and functional was something that I was excited to tackle this past month and I want to share with you the full space all put together. I tried something new with the crown molding that I've never done before and I absolutely love how it turned out. I wound up painting it the same color as our wall color. So last month, like I said, I changed the color from what was originally Benjamin Moore's Wickham Gray. I painted it Benjamin Moore's Horizon Gray, color match to bear, and it's the same color that we have in our son's nursery. And I kind of shared last month how I wanted to sort of update the bathroom so that it made more sense with the rest of our house and the color scheme went with you know some other rooms instead of being kind of a standalone color that didn't really go with anything. And a lot of our home's paint colors are warmer, so I was really happy with the paint refresh alone. And I just think it totally elevated the tiny room and made it so much more pulled together and really gave it some presence. And I know it's just a bathroom, but it's a space that we all use every single day, so why not make it pretty and you know put in that little bit of extra effort it is the same sheen as well i didn't use you know a different sheen so it kind of just draws your eye up and it makes all the ceilings look taller and i just love how it turned out i was so proud of my husband he did it all himself and then i painted it and it just looks so lovely in there and then the second project that we tackled together was to fix the hooks that were on the back of the main door. We had hung these two black hooks when we first renovated the bathroom and one of them had fallen off. The other one, you know, was still up three years later and we never got around to putting up the second hook, you know, putting it back up because we wanted to reinforce where it was, you know, screwed into. So that's what we did. We took down the other hook and we found a piece of wood just that we already had on hand. We made it as wide as the door because our doors are hollow core. The main support of the door is on the edges. And then he sunk the screws so that we could use these little wood fillers and sort of make it look completely smooth so you didn't see the screws at all. So I thought that was a nice little touch that he thought of. And so after that was all up, like I said, we sanded it, painted it to match the door, and then put the hooks back onto the wood. So now it is very strong. We can hang all of our wet towels and things like that. And I was considering painting the hooks to kind of match more of the brass tones in the bathroom. We have a lot of different metals going on in here, so I thought that the black actually would work fine, especially since I had a black framed piece of artwork right next to it, which is actually something that my brother drew. He's an amazing artist and I love having it here and being able to look at it every day. And then I did actually update the artwork that was on the other side of the room. Initially I had a more kind of ornate gold brass colored frame, but then I looked in my stash of frames that I already had just in my basement. Um, I found a print that I did actually have there at one point and then I had swapped it out. It's, you know, I'm always kind of moving things around. But I wanted something that looked a little older. This frame that is kind of, you know, beat up and kind of chipped, I love. I think that it's a great juxtaposition with all the very like new and clean things in the bathroom because we did renovate that space completely. We gutted it and completely renovated it. So I'll link that video if you would like to go and see what we were originally starting with three years ago. But I love the new frame there, the new old frame, and I think that the black on the frame also helped to tie in the hooks as well. 
So those were the main updates to the room. Like I said, it was just a very mini makeover. Paint goes a very long way in making a space feel fresh and new. And of course the crown molding, we just are loving so much. But I thought since we're already in this room, I would go ahead and just show you the organization in our vanity. On the top drawer, we keep all of our toothbrushes right in the center. I love that the drawer is kind of deep so we can kind of layer the toothpaste underneath the brushes. And then to the right is kind of my section of my like beauty products products and um, there's some tooth flossers for everybody and some just hair clips and things like that. And then to the left is more of my husband's domain, combs and hair clippers and all sorts of things for him are on that side. And then in the bottom drawer, I just have a couple of like lotions and hair curler and some coconut oil to remove my eye makeup at night. And then the center are just some few random beauty products. All of my makeup is in that makeup bag and then a few feminine products to the side. And then at the very bottom of the vanity, we do have a large basket where we store excess toilet paper, some oversized products, and then a few things for bath time. We do have bins in our linen closet that are right outside the bathroom. So we do store overflow products and backups and things like that in those bins. And that works really well for us. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this bathroom mini makeover completed. If you wanna see how I deep clean my bathroom, I do have a video all about that that I can link to. And if you're new here, be sure to stick around and subscribe and I'll be talking to you soon. Take care. Bye.